Now I am into the last topic in uh, pure mathematics at A level. I'm not too sure. I'm I know I'm hundred percent sure that there is no second order differential equations are not a part of the Edexcel syllabus or the OCR syllabus at A level. However, what I'm not sure is whether uh, first order linear differential equations is included. I don't know what I'll do is I'll just teach you for the sake of completeness. If it's not in your, I'll do it toward the end so that you don't have to bother looking into that. Okay. Oh, by the way, my name is Sosale Mohana. I have recorded almost, I mean, lessons on almost every topic across the various boards in A level maths. And I'm just going over. It's a revision. Uh, session, a session, a number of sessions on revising what you learned in your school. So, we are not doing differential equation. To understand the differential equation, let's look at it this way. You see, suppose you had a curve satisfies the condition that its gradient at any point x, y is part a, a constant k. How do you, what do you understand by this statement? We have a curve. I don't know what the equation of the curve. Okay, find the general equation of the curve. Let me, I'm changing the question. That satisfies the condition that its gradient at any point x, y is a constant k. So, in other words, dy by dx is a constant k. Yeah. Let's integrate both sides with respect to x. So, I get integral dy by dx times dx is equal to integral k dx. Here, obviously, when you integrate dy by dx, you get y is equal to kx plus c. y equal to kx, let's say, is always constant too. Then that is 2, that is 2, y equal to 2x plus c. But what do you notice? y equal to 2x is a line like this 2x plus 1, 2x plus minus 3, 2x minus 5, 2x plus 20. It doesn't give you one answer, it gives you millions and millions and millions of answers. Then this solution gives a family of curves. And this equation, we call it as a differential equation because it contains dy by dx. And you solve a differential equation by integration at some stage. May not be straight away, maybe I have to do some hocus pocus magic, but still have to integrate sometime. Okay? And when you solve a differential equation, you get a general equation of the curve. You don't get a specific equation of the curve. The general equation, the solution represents a family of curves. It doesn't represent just one curve. It represents a family of curves. And uh, as usual, I forgot to turn on my stopwatch. I think I've taken about three minutes. So, I will do about 15 minutes. So, it's within the range. Whereas, it becomes more interesting at any point x, y is, let us say, uh, is given by x square 2x over a squared minus 2y 
और मैं इसके बाद दीवा बड़ी एक से कोई देख लीजिए गिवन बाय बी स्क्वायर एक्स ओवर ए स्क्वायर वाई वेर ए ग्रेटर देन बी ए एंड बी और पॉजिटिव ए ग्रेटर देन बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो कोमा ए बी बिलोंग टू जेड प्लस द सेट ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स लेट्स लुक एट दिस वन Gradient is dy by dx equal to b squared x over a squared y. I can't integrate this as it is because I can't integrate x with respect to y. What happens if you multiply both sides by dx? So I get dy is equal to b squared x squared x dx. Now we integrate. A squared y squared over two is equal to b squared. Oh, sorry, I have to have a minus sign. I forgot a minus sign. So minus b squared x squared over two plus c. Multiply throughout by two, I get a squared y squared plus b squared x squared is equal to two c. Yeah. Divide out by a squared b squared. I get y squared over b squared plus x squared over a squared is equal to two c over a squared b squared. Yeah. Now I divide throughout by. How would I do it? Uh, no, let's leave it there. Let's look at that. Yeah. So I have an equation: a squared y squared plus b squared x squared is equal to two c, which I'll call as k, some constant k. Yeah. So I divide through by k. I get y squared over k over a squared plus x squared. Over k over b squared is equal to one. I am going to call k over a squared as a constant a squared, and k over b squared as a constant b squared, so that I don't have too many unknowns. So it becomes x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to one. I don't want any of the, yeah. Let that be there. That mathematically is an ellipse. So depending upon the values of a and b, I could have an ellipse like this. I could have an ellipse like this. I could have an ellipse ma 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 like this. I could have an ellipse like this. So there are millions and millions of ellipses for the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to one. So in general, when you solve a differential equation, you get a family of Curves. You don't have to know how to do all this. So, first we need indirectly. I am now I have now taken you through the concept of a differential equation. Any differential equation has a derivative. So, any equation. That has a derivative is a differential equation. That's all a differential equation is. Solving it is another story. Yeah. Okay. And if The highest derivative is dy by dx. Then it is first order.
So, first order differential equation means it can only have dy by dx. Suppose you have 2 d squared over dx squared plus 3 dy by dx minus 4y equals cos x, which for the math students you would know would be a second order differential equation. Whereas d cube y by dx cube equal to 4 d squared over dx squared, third order differential equation. In fact, you can have nth order differential equations. As you go further into mathematics and into university, you might end up solving nth order differential equations. Thank God we are not going to that at A level. Good. Now, so I have defined what is a differential equation. I have defined what is a first order differential equation. What is this variable separable form? That means any equation of the any differential equation of the type dy by dx equal to f of x and g of y. In other words, I should be able to, in other words, can I now rewrite this as 1 over g of y dy or let me change it here g of y dy by dx equal to f of x or I can say g of y dy equals f of x dx now I will be able to integrate that is called a variable separable form that means you should be able to in other words indirectly what it means is you should be able to group all y functions with dy and all x functions with dx. If we can do that in a differential equation, then it is a variable separate. In fact, that is one of the most important forms of a differential equation. So, uh, to put it in, how do we go about doing that is very simple. I will give you the steps here. This will be the handout anyway. Uh, <coughs> to solve a first order variable separable differential equation. The word itself says you can separate the variables. I do not want to write differential equations, I will just put the EQ. If you do not understand it, figure out. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, step 1 will be if dy by dx is not the subject, make dy by dx the subject. You make dy by dx the subject. Step 2. Multiply both sides by dx. That is, you get rid of the dx from dy by dx. Step 3 Mathematically, you are not multiplying by dx, you are integrating dy by dx and to get y. Okay. Step 3 uh, Rearrange in the form uh, f of y dy equals g of x dx and integrate or put integrals. Step 4 integrate. 
and put plus C only with X. You can put C1 and C2, you are welcome. But C1 is a constant, C2 is a constant, C2 minus C1 is also a constant. So leave it with X. And then this answer you get is called the general solution. Then you are given some boundary condition when X equal to 1, Y equal to 4. Then when you solve it, you get a particular solution. Otherwise, the general solution gives you a family of curves. When you use the boundary condition or the initial values, what you get is a particular solution or a particular member of the family. Okay. Uh, let me take an example or two. Find find the general solution of the differential equation. dy by dx plus x squared over y is equal to y or is equal to x squared. Here dy by dx is not the subject. If dy by dx is not the subject, make dy by dx the subject. So dy by dx equal to x squared minus x squared over y which is x squared times 1 minus 1 over y or x squared times y minus 1 over y. Okay. If it is first order variable separable form, you must be able to bring all the y's with dy and all the x's with dx. Now cross multiply with x. So dx will get dy equal to x squared times y minus 1 over y dx. So I can say y over y minus 1 dy equal to x squared dx. Now you see, I am able to rearrange all functions of y with dy equated to all functions of x with dx. And then rearrange in that form, integrate. So I am going to integrate this. Before I do that, let us therefore integral y over y minus 1 dy is integral x squared dx. Put it plus, put it as a plus c straight away there so that you do not forget it. Many a time students forget the plus c and when they use boundary conditions, they go wrong. So put immediately plus c before even you integrate. Now methods of integration. The right hand side is straightforward. There is no problem there. x cube over 3a plus c. Brilliant. But what about the left hand side? Can't integrate directly. It is an algebraic fraction. The power of the numerator is 1. The power of the denominator is 1. So I have to divide. So it is 1. Let me divide here. So it is 1 plus 1 over y minus 1 dy is x cube over 3 plus c. So I get y plus ln y minus 1 is equal to x cube over 3 plus c would be the general solution. So in the exam they will not tell you it is a first order linear differential equation. They will just say solve this equation. And at Excel, your life is easy. You just make dy by dx the subject, then you should be able to rearrange in the form all y with dy, all x with dx. You should be able to do it. No problem there. It's only perhaps for the math students, or perhaps I'm not too sure, OCR and AQ students you might have to find out whether it is variable separable or use the condition for a first order linear differential equation. 
definitely not second order first order or maybe for second order reducible to first order we'll see those things later so i'll stop at that stage and then continue in the next lesson have a nice day bye bye hello i want to take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks i would like to thank vivid innovations private limited and commerce forum for uh, so generously giving up their uh, studio and the facilities and the services of their uh, technicians to record all these videos for free i think that needs to be acknowledged and appreciated thank you very much and my special thanks to mr nitin mahadevpa mr nishant guruswami and mr sadan kumar dn for all their help and assistance in getting these videos ready uploaded and launched thank you very much